Talk to me about West Ham. You, obviously, this love affair that you have with West Ham, and they have with you. Um, some would say, I think you probably would say too, that they saved your career by going there. There were some obviously interesting moments whilst you were there, from from wonderful goals to great moments of sportsmanship. Lucky goal. Lucky goal. Brilliant ball from Trevor Sinclair. Yeah, the um, best. What about your time in at West Ham resonates with you the most? Do you remember most? What is the what are your fondest memories of it? I, uh, when uh, I signed the contract, the presentation with uh, Mark Vivian Foyer. Okay, Mark Vivian Foyer. Yeah, my friend. Like if I reborn, you know, I was reborn because I came from nearly four months out mm -hmm. from, uh, you know, the suspenses that I have from uh, Paul Alcock push. And then the smiling of uh, Mark Vivian Foy that was smiling, the energy that he delivered to me. It's obvious with the red up that uh, introduced us, uh, you know, as a footballer important for the future, for the, 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 um, the team. And uh, my first training session Upton Park was the presentation and training session. Upton Park was uh, something like special, you know, in, uh, in the, uh, the story that the people used to tell me and uh, the Bobby Mustang, the claret blue color, perfect combination of the you two. You your bloody colors again. Ah, yeah. beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful color. The only claret. No wonder you were in a clothes shop, you appreciate these things. Yeah, yeah, every year I, I, I buy uh, the um, kit for- uh, West Ham. The West Ham kit every single season for uh, my friend. We got team. We play Wednesday night, five aside. Every year, new kit. Every year we got kit because it's beautiful. But I said that the first training session we we start practice uh, in a shooting goal. Uh, I don't know. I was on fire, even if I was four months out, but train every day. But uh, I was on fire. I, I remember that I used to take uh, the ball always in top corner, top corner, top corner. So my arrival was good because all the other players were impressed about me, you know. Really? It was a good start. It okay. was a good start and, and that was uh, the Jamie best Red, Jamie Redknapp says that if you were kicked in the five side, you'd walk off. Why? I don't know. I'm reading a quote from Jamie Redknapp where he says, uh, when West Ham picked the teams with the five side there to make sure that Julian Dix, Stuart Pearce, Neil Ruddock and any of the other four, more physical players were on the same team as Paolo. Or else, one of them would kick him, and it would all go off. And if he was losing, he would walk off. And and if anyone kicked him, he would want to have a fight. Never, never go. <laughs> so out Jamie's for telling kick. tales, is he? No, never go out for kick, for a lose. But I was always angry. Right. For the performance, <laughs> for uh, the not not good attitude by the others because someone used to challenge maybe uh, to each other, but. The one where, you know, have a joke. For me, the defeat uh, is not acceptable. Like a Conde, you know, many times say it's not acceptable. Obviously, you accept. It's the occasion to improve, to get in better, to work harder. But uh, but you loved this club, didn't you? I mean, you had an I opportunity love, to I go love. to Manchester United. Was yeah. that a real opportunity? Twice. 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 And you turned down going say, to Manchester no. United. I say, listen, it's a great privilege to receive a phone call from you. Uh, it's an honor Ferguson, to know yeah. that uh, you, uh, Alex, uh, you, you call me, it, it's an honor for me because uh, you can imagine at the moment it was the best manager, the best team in the world, but I can't betray the, uh, uh, people that, uh, you know, uh, gave me the opportunity to feel how I feel now. I'm the skipper of this club. So I can't live until they kick me out. So thank you. I'm never gonna forget that you thought about me but uh, I'm a skipper, I'm a West Ham through and through. Was this your favorite club? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, because when I come back here, I feel home. I More feel than home. Lazio? Lazio, I was born in Lazio, so my veins, uh, you yeah, know, you there believe, is a, yeah. But uh, uh, when I say to the people, they have to understand exactly, to have the feeling I have with West Ham, uh, it, it's something special because uh, you born as a Lazio fan in a, in a specific area and you growing up, so you, you have your heart, your blood is white yeah. and blue. But to have the same feeling abroad, away from your country, in a place where you've been for four years and a half, 
and uh, you play football with other men is club, but you have uh, the same emotion. Uh, every time is a new emotion. When I come here, I meet, uh, uh, I have a chance like last time uh, tonight, uh, uh, West Ham supporters. It's something special mm. because I feel always, uh, even when I'm watching uh, my goals I scored with all the teams I have played, I have a good feeling with everyone, with Lazio, obviously, in a Roman derby. But you have a connection with West Ham. But with West Ham, uh, see me, Upton Park, play with them, band. I got some, uh, you know, hmm. I, I don't want to say a cry, but no, I got close. Yeah. I emotion, uh, I, I, incredible what I'm feeling, what, what is my feeling inside. So we are equal with them. I have to say even uh, uh, sometimes uh, it's a bit higher with them because it's, it's a particularly you know, special yeah. in some way.